They kill as a way of life, terrorizing neighborhoods and tearing families apart. The MS-13 gang is just one of hundreds of gangs identified in Houston. Investigators say two of the gang's members are behind the murder of a 14-year-old girl whose body was dumped on a southwest Houston street. Channel 2 investigator Robert Arnold has been tracking gangs across the state for several years now. Tonight he goes in-depth on MS-13, revealing that gang's origins and how you can help the FBI and local police crack down on their crimes. What happened to Jose? Jose died. I'm shocked. The brutality is well documented. From a middle school student hacked to death near the Attic's Dam, to a high school student murdered in Sam Houston National Forest, to a 14-year-old girl kidnapped, shot, and left in the street. MS-13 has said to us in interviews that murder, they murder for a living. MS-13 is a gang rooted in the violence of Central America. The MS stands for Mara Salvatrucha, Salvadoran Gang. According to the Texas Department of Public Safety, the gang's numbers recently grew as members snuck into the U.S. amongst the thousands of unaccompanied Central American children crossing into Texas. The majority of the MS-13 gang members we come into contact with are in the country unlawfully. A recent threat assessment from DPS shows Houston reporting some of the highest numbers of MS-13 members in the state. The DPS wrote, MS-13's relationship with drug cartels and its propensity for murder and dismemberment positioned the gang as one of the state's most significant gang threats. We see MS activity all over the county and even in the surrounding counties. Yet, MS-13 is far from the only gang threat to the Houston area. Police say there are 353 gangs operating here with roughly 19,000 members. Last year, our city saw 302 murders, 57 were gang related. In fact, this map of gang activity shows Harris County is one of four of the highest areas for gang activity in the state. Please don't underestimate what they're capable of doing. Lieutenant Caroletta Johnson heads up HPD's gang division. They're involved in violent crime, nonviolent crime, drug trafficking, human trafficking. They're involved in burglaries, identification theft. And Johnson says the word gang can also have different meanings from the well-known, well-organized groups to a loose collection of people who live in the same neighborhood. Based on where they live, they name, they kind of do their own thing. They, they uh, make up their own rules and some of them may not even have rules. Johnson says a key component to combating gangs is understanding the culture, essentially tapping into core motivations, beliefs, and even the lingo as a way to counteract the gang life. Johnson says this is where the public can help. We want to urge people to not to ignore it, learn it, take interest in it, and listen, and then provide this information to us. To that last point, the FBI and all law enforcement agencies in our area contributed to the creation of StopHoustonGangs.org. This site gives a breakdown of all the gangs in our area and gives you a place to submit tips anonymously. You'll find a link to that site under the Investigate section of click2houston.com. Robert Arnold, KPRC, Channel 2 News.